Okay, let's uh, now look at the scenario that uh, our pH still, we're not quite getting to 7. Um, and like I said, we want to be in the 7 range, 7 to 7, 9 coming out of the filter. So what you're going to want to do then is you're going to actually want to add a little of the Corosex. And um, what you're going to do is add that here through this port. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to vent the pressure on your tank. So you can do this a couple of different ways. Uh, the way we prefer to set them up is actually you would close your inlet supply. And you would go ahead and make sure you're in uh, not bypass mode, but operational mode. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and close your house supply. Also wanted to mention whenever you're servicing this, you want to make sure you, if you have any other filters in line, go ahead and put those all on bypass just to protect all the other systems. So then you can go ahead, you have your sample port here, which we recommend. You can open that, you'll watch your pressure drop on your gauge. You can go ahead and close it. Now your system is vented and you vented the pressure in your tank. Okay, if you don't have the isolation valves or the sample valves, uh, the other option is, is to go ahead and put your system into the bypass mode, which is both valves facing each other. And then you're going to gonna want to go ahead and uh, go to a manual backwash mode. This will basically take the water out of here and back out through your tube. And again, you perform that just by holding the set change button. And you'll go back into the backwash mode. The other important thing you want to do at this point in time is go ahead and disconnect your power. That leaves the valve manually in the bypass mode and keeps the pressure off. So right now, remember, you have water coming in. You're in your bypass, so you have water to the, to the house, but not into the system. Okay, so now that we know we have pressure off the system, again, this particular scenario is if your pH is too low. You're going to go ahead and pop this cap off here. And if it's tight and you can't loosen it, verify that you have your pressure off because if this is under pressure, you're never going to get it loose. And then what we're going to recommend is go ahead and get yourself one of these uh, transmission type funnels at uh, your local auto parts store. And what you're going to go ahead and do is do it, put, put about a cup or cup to two cups of Corsex just down in here on top of your media. Um, what that's going to do is uh, going to raise your pH a little bit. Uh, you don't want to do too much, so you might want to start with just a cup and kind of work your way up till you get the pH where you want it. Okay, once again, I want to reiterate, uh, you do not want to go past this two-thirds mark. Uh, when you're in your backwash mode and you're uh, flushing the water through the D2 back up, you don't want that media to rise up and get back up into your valve. So once you've added your neutralizer to the right level, whether you've added just a little Corosex, you've added a Corosex uh, calcite blend, or just calcite, We'll go ahead and reinstall our plug. And this guy here has a little O-ring on it right here. So again, these are plastic fittings. You don't want to get on them too tight. You just want to get them to seal. So you're just going to snug this. Okay. And then what we're going to do is go ahead, now that we're all set, we're safe. Again, we're still in the bypass mode. We're going to go ahead and plug the unit back in the outboard P for power. And as you can see, we're still in the backwash mode. So what we're going to go ahead and do, this is at your 10 minutes, this is going to count down. We're going to go ahead and bring your inlet supply back open. And we're going to head and slowly open your inlet valve. So what you're going to do is crack it open a little bit, wait a few minutes, crack it open a little more, wait a few minutes until you finally open it all the way up. Okay, as you can see, we're still in our backwash mode. We're down now, down to nine minutes. We're going to go ahead and let that run through its cycle. 
Then it's going to go into its rest mode. It's going to go into cycle three, which is a rapid rinse. And then it'll come back into its home operations screen. Okay, as you can see, we're now back down to uh, in our uh, mode going back and forth between time and days left to the regeneration. And uh, we're back into the service mode. We can go ahead and open our outlet valve now. And then we're going to go ahead and flow some water through your sample valve. And run, you know, several gallons through it, uh, and then go ahead and take a test again, see what your pH is, where your pH is at. Um, again, pH is too low. Uh, you want to uh, go ahead and add a little Corosex to the system. If the pH is too high, you're going to want to go ahead and rinse uh, the, the Corosex out. And again, for the calcite, straight calcite filter, uh, just keep an eye on the level and you should be good. Um, okay, that's all for today, folks.